I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. Oh, there is. Listen, he's my case officer. I need to talk to him. I'm sorry, sir. Listen, listen. I know the protocol. I know you're doing just you're just doing your job. But I don't have access to a secure line, okay? This is Michael Weston. Sir, I can't help okay, you. Okay, just put Dan on the phone, all right? He's my handler. I've worked with him for over 20 years. This is Michael. I'm gonna hang up, Don't, now, don't hang up. You hung up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna plant the bug tomorrow with Sam, keep an eye on Pine, make sure he doesn't get any ideas. You're making me miss the old days. It sounds like fun. Uh, not really. I haven't worked so hard for so little since uh, Afghanistan in the 80s. But at least there, I didn't get a phone call from my mom 30 times a day. Yeah. Thanks for giving her my number. You're welcome. So, any thoughts on why you're so unpopular? Why didn't they just kill you? Well, it could be they want me as a lesson for others. It could be someone wants me for a job, wants to make sure that I'm nice and desperate before they offer. It could be a lot of things. That they the bitch is not knowing. Well, you know, I think it might do good to be in one place for a while. Resolve some issues. <laughs> yeah, you're insane. I, I went halfway across the world to uh, to get rid yeah, of those exactly. issues. To get away exactly. 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 My point. I mean, maybe if you stopped running, you could maintain a normal relationship. Listen, there are some things I'm good at. Uh, tactical analysis, uh, hand in hand combat. I'm a pretty good cook as well. But uh, when it comes to relationship, that's just. It's just not my thing, okay? It's, it never was. All right, well, now you're in Miami. Why don't you get a 24-year-old with some fake tits? Well, for one thing, I can't afford one right now. Uh, and the other thing is um, they bore me. You know, it, it, if it makes you feel any better, you were as close as I got. It's just not close enough, I guess. You know, things could have worked out with us. I mean, maybe if you would have gone to church with me once yeah, in a while. Yeah, you were robbing or... banks for the IRA. Oh, uh, really? And you're so noble? A spy is just a nice name for a criminal working for a government on foreign soil. Besides, you're the one with two FBI agents watching me. Okay. I count two. Checking the martini by the door. Bravo. Should we shoot him? I've got enough problems. No. <laughs> yeah, well, more wine then. Hey guys. Talk, talking about me? Sam, you gonna introduce me to your FBI buddies? FBI, you've uh, got the wrong idea. Ford outside has G-Series plates. You both have fast draw holsters, uh, suit off the rack, and yep, cheap loafers. You guys are definitely feds. Michael, um, they came to me. I was trying to help you. Yeah, it's not like I didn't know, Sam. I mean, I've got two known associates in Miami, you and Min, and apparently you were both willing to help me. Yeah, I know how this game is played. Remember, Sam, I was on the other side. So, I'm Michael Weston. You are? Agent Harris. Do you even know why you're watching me? I mean, this whole thing? Don't know, don't Do care. Higher up the food chain. Okay, well then, let's call your boss, and he can explain to me. Those aren't what? my orders. My okay. orders are to keep tabs Then you give a your... message to him from me. You tell him. Sorry. That I, I can't do even... have a message for you, though. Don't go thinking you have nothing to lose. You have friends. You have family. Is that a threat? It's the truth. Coffee's on me. Mike, they got my pension tied up. They said it would be better for you. You can make a living, anything you want, as long as you stay where they can see you and you don't make trouble. Don't sprinkle sugar on this bullshit and tell me it's candy. I'm sorry, Mike. I don't know what to say. If I couldn't handle my friends informing on me, I wouldn't be in this business. I mean, the way I see it, better a friend than someone I don't know. The way I see it, a friend would tell them just enough to keep them happy, but keep them out of my business. Am I right? Hell yeah, Mike. Absolutely. All right, then. I'm going to go take care of this pine business. Uh, you want me to come? At least I can do. No. No, I can handle Good luck, Mike. Did 
doctor said he's never seen a patient with so many broken ribs, he thought you fell under a truck. I told him the truck was a possibility, but there's no way you fell. You're not an organ donor, I see. What, what, what are you doing here? What? I'm still in your wallet. It's nice to kill love. You're supposed to take it out when you leave someone, you know? Well, thanks for coming. I'm flattered. Don't be. I need to get out of New York. All the associates sniffing around. And I thought I might try someplace sunny. Plus, I thought I might get the chance to pull the plug. Couldn't pass it out now, could I? <laughs> Sonny, where is this? Where am I? Miami. Well, yeah, we collapsed. I'm afraid from Sharon Tall, which is off key. And how the hell do I end up in Miami? The airline said they were instructed to fly you here. Instructed? What does that mean? Well, it is home now, in a manner of speaking, isn't it? I mean, your mom is here. Oh, by the way, your insurance was cancelled. The hospital called her. My mother. Oh, Christ. Wait, what was she doing? I'm leaving. Good at that. Leaving? Oh, Faye. Somebody put a burn notice out on me. I gotta take care of this now, or a few cracked ribs will be the least of my problems. You know I want to give your mommy a call. I'm not gonna be in town, you know, that long. So, uh, listen, things work better when uh, my mother and I are in separate hemispheres. Hey, would you, would you mind? Go, go down to the nurse's station, you know, make a scene. I can't deal with leaving hospital against medical advice paperwork right now. You want me to do that? Don't. <laughs> we'll plant the bug tomorrow with Sam. Keep an eye on Pine. You know, make sure he doesn't get any bright ideas. Yeah, it's not real, Fig. I haven't worked so hard for so little money since Afghanistan in the 80s. And at least there, my mom wasn't calling me 30 times a day. Thank you for giving her my number. You're so any thoughts as to why you're so unpopular? I mean, why didn't they just kill you? <laughs> could be they want me as a lesson. Others could be they're... Someone wants me nice and desperate before they offer me the job. Could be a lot of things. You know, the bitch is not knowing. I think you need to do some good to stay in place. Some solutions. Okay, you, you are insane. Uh, I went halfway across the My world point to get exactly. away from those issues. You stopped running. You could... Maintain a normal relationship. Fate, listen, listen, there are some things I'm good at. Tactical analysis, hand-to-hand -hand combat, I'm even a decent cook. But relationships are not my thing, okay? They just never were. Oh, well, now you're in Miami. You just have 24-year-old evictives. Yeah. <laughs> for one thing, I couldn't afford one right now. And for another thing, they bore me. But if it makes you feel any better, you were the closest I ever got. It just, it just wasn't close enough, I guess. Things could have worked out in this week. Maybe if you come to church. You were robbing back. Oh, you're some fucking normal. A spy is just a nice name for a criminal working for the government on the foreign side. Besides, you're living with two FBI agents watching a meet. Three. I come to. One, two. And by the door, drinking a martini. <laughs>